Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Wows. I wonder if that's Oz. Let's see if we can confirm this. Like much of Europe beginning in 1939, this has got to be talking about World War II. This should be at war. Yippee, an equivalent phrase. Uh, is it woohoo? That doesn't really fit, does it? Is it wahoo? Let's see. Not daring at all. That could be tame. Dogs that can run up to 35 miles an hour. Okay, and this is referencing something else, so it seems like this is a theme answer. Hmm. Interesting. Blank Green Balge, American humanitarian who won the 1946 Nobel Peace Prize. I don't recognize this name. Hmm. International Day of Peace Month. Well, it looks like it has to be September. What is this? Does it start with whip? I've never heard of a dog called a whip before. And it has to be plural. Something very strange is happening here. Hmm. I wonder if we should look at this. Let's wait until we get another one or two theme answers under our bell. Gmail alternative. I guess that could be AOL, yeah. Pronoun heard in Hamlet and Richard II appropriately. Uh, it's probably the royal we, right? Because both of these plays are about royalty. So this has to be Emily, right? It is a whip. Whip. Dogs. Something very strange is happening with this theme. Like the fact that Lance Bass sang bass for NSYNC. <laughs> yeah, that's very apt. That's an aptronym. Well-mannered sort. And this is wordplay, so this is not about having good manners. I think this is someone with a large manor or an estate. That could be a lord. Jojo Rabbit setting abbreviated. Hey, we were just talking about this. This is World War II. Okay. Electrical current converter. Okay, well, judging by this first theme answer, this is not going to make any sense at all. It kind of looks like it's going to start with power, though. Whip. Hmm. Bracketologist picks often. Bracketologists. Is this someone who picks teams in a sports bracket? Hmm. I have no idea what this is going to be. It's not unseated, is it? It's got to be plural. Hmm. What is this? Option at many bike shops. Hmm. I don't know. There's so many options here. Peace in the game Othello. That is a disc. I think it's got to be with a K. Run down. Hmm. This has got to be an adjective. I wonder if it starts with an R for power. Hmm. I don't know. Let's start up here. Food blank. This could be any number of things. Good or bad questioner? Questioner. What is this talking about? Good or bad? Our treat, an equivalent phrase, on us. Ooh, okay, we have a hyphen here. So that makes me think this is a continuation of this theme answer. Very interesting. Okay, that makes sense because now this can actually be plural. Does it keep going? No, it doesn't. Hmm, Animal Crossing. And this is wordplay, so it's not about deer crossing the street. Animal Crossing. I wonder if this is about making 
animal hybrids. Hmm, like a mule. Yeah, a mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey, right? Nice, that's pretty clever. Hmm, I still have no idea. Man, we're gonna need some help here. Secretly unseal, perhaps. I really want that to be steam open. Is this really not mule? Steam open, that would actually fit too. Let's see if this is a P. Oh no, it's a theme answer. Show up again. I would really want this to be reappear. Could it just continue through? Reappear. I think it could. Reap pair. Wait a minute. These are anagrams of each other. Reap and pair. Reappear. Very interesting. I wonder if our theme answers today are going to be self anagrams, where both halves of each word can anagram into each other. That would be really cool. That would mean that mule is definitely wrong, though, because there's no L in whip. Hmm, I'm still very confused about this first theme answer. It still has to be plural. Hmm, maybe we can build out from this corner here. Exercise that incorporates ballet, yoga, and Pilates. Uh, what would that be? I don't know, it's not cross training, is it? It doesn't seem like it. Blank gas law, PV equals NRT. I think I did learn this equation when I took physics in high school. I have no memory of what it's called, though. Hmm. It's fit for a queen. I wonder if this is making a joke about a queen-sized mattress. It's not a sheet, unless reap is wrong. Hmm. Not well at all. And this is more wordplay, so... It's not about being sick. Not well at all. Hmm. Is it about a water well? I don't know. Flare. That seems like that should be a lawn. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe this is the ideal gas law. Ideal gas was one of our zipper merges last week. Nice to see that show up again. Okay. Not well at all. Hmm. It's fit for a queen. Is it drama? Are we talking about a drama queen? That is very, very tricky if that's what it is. Not well. Hmm. This ends in P blank N. It really does seem like it should be open. And if it is steam open, this would be an M. JPEG alternative. That almost feels like it should be a bitmap. Is it not drama? But maybe it is steam open. Let's try bitmap here. I really like that answer. And what is this? Oh my god. Is it bar? Isn't that the name of the bar in ballet? I want to say it is. Let's take out drama and see what we have here. Not well at all. Hmm. I don't know. Chow, an equivalent phrase. Okay, well that has to be adios. Is it a tiara? Oh yeah, a queen could wear a tiara. It would be fit for her. And this is rare. Oh man, I guess this is talking about cooking. Holy moly, that's hard, okay. Secretly unseal. I think it has to be steam open, even though mule is such a good answer. Let's put in steam and see if we can build off of this. Saijit Ray's The Blank Trilogy. I know I've seen this before. I want to say it's the Apu Trilogy, is that right? Establishments for facials and waxing. 
Yeah, that's got to be spas. I up and down. That should be a sass. Okay, so what is this? Electrical current converter. That should be a power supply. Okay, so these are definitely not anagrams. So that must not be what's happening on the theme today. We do have powers up and ply. Those are kind of separate words on their own. And the same is true with reap and pair. Um, so are we just breaking our theme phrases up into two separate words or phrases? Hmm, I guess that's possible. It feels like there needs to be more to this theme. It is a Thursday after all. I guess the breaks seem to be happening at the double P. We have a break here and a break here. So that means this is probably a P. Yeah, whatever these dogs are, good or bad. Huh. Oh, it has to be a good cop and a bad cop, right? That is so funny. Okay. Is it a food coma? Oh my god. And then we still have no idea here. Maybe this is one seeds? Yeah, because they'd be the favorites, right? So bracketologists would pick them often. All right. Um, how is this not a mule? I guess it's a mutt, right? It's the same idea. I kind of like mule better though. Okay, so this is whippets? Whippets? I've never heard of dogs called whippets before. That has a very different meaning in my mind. Okay, let's see here. Um, I wonder why they're breaking at the double P. Hmm, I have no idea. Let's try and work towards our revealer now that we have an idea of how the theme is working. Option at many bike shops. I wonder if it's some kind of ride. Run down. Hmm, I guess this could be a rundown, right? As a noun? That would be kind of a recap of something, right? So maybe this could be a recap. Yeah, nice, okay. So it is a ride at many bike shops. Maybe it's a test ride, yeah. Hip hop subgenre, that's gotta be trap. Allotment term, allotment. So that means you're giving things out to people. I wonder if this could be each, like you each get one. Freestyle, maybe. Are we talking about rap again? This could be rap. Commonly torn tissue for short. Yeah, that's probably your anterior cruciate ligament in your knee. Okay, this is another theme answer. Country composed of over 7,000 islands. That's got to be the Philippines, right? Um... I gotta figure out how to spell this. I guess it has to have a double P here and then I-N-E-S. That looks okay. All right, let's take a look at our revealer here. I'm very curious as to what this is gonna be. Although with S-P-L-I, I have an idea of what it might be. Is it gonna be split peas? Certain soup ingredients or a homophonic hint to the answers to the starred clues Yes, it definitely is. It's going to be split peas. That's really funny. We have a split pea soup as our theme today. Religious scroll. That's got to be a Torah. Band book of 1955. Uh, I imagine that might be Lolita. Flattened in a way. I imagine this is going to be ironed. That's a way of flattening. Although, wait a minute, that doesn't fit. Iron does not fit. Hmm, I wonder what this is gonna be. Tap one's phone, perhaps. That's a way to pay these days. Staff, it looks like this is gonna be employees. Nice. She in Sicily. Oof, I'm really bad in Italian. 
I don't know, it's not Essa, is it? National League Expansion Team of 1962. Hey, that's my hometown team, that's the Mets. Very nice, okay. Act as an usher for, that should be C in. Okay, Chihuahua for one. This is a very, very tricky clue. It sounds like they're asking about a dog, like these whippets here, but I think they're actually talking about a state. There's a state in Mexico called Chihuahua. That is a great misdirection. Maybe it is Essa. Syrian strongman. Yeah, that's Assad. Okay, wow, that was a good guess. Wait a minute, it is ironed. How did I think that this would not fit? <laughs> oh my god, I really spaced on that one. Okay. Glad Rival. They make garbage bags, so I think this is going to be hefty. Ryder Weasel. That is Ellie Weasel. Okay. Lacking seriousness as an attitude. Okay, we know we have a split P here, so I think this is going to be flippant. Nice. Is that our last theme answer? I think it is, yeah. Nice, that's all of our split peas today. All right, let's finish up this corner here. Nickname for Letitia. That's gotta be Tish, right? Brand of coolers and insulated drinkware. That is Yeti. So we have Phi, golden ratio symbol. I'll take their word for that one. No, really, an equivalent phrase. Uh, is this I insist? Oh man, that was hard to parse. Two leading eyes. You almost never see that. That is super unusual. Bond's debut film. The first James Bond film was Dr. No. Not too many. A few. Boom Holder. A boom holder. Is this talking about someone holding a boom mic on a movie set? What would that be? It's not a grip. Hmm. Fabric for some formal table linens. Is that damask? I know that's a kind of fancy fabric. Hit lightly. And this is wordplay, so it's not about giving someone a love tap. Maybe it's about hitting something with light. Is it laze? Yeah, you're hitting it with laser light. Okay. Chortles. That's gotta be yucks. So we have the French O here. French 101 word with three vowels. Yeah, that is O. This is a tricky clue though, because if you don't have any crossing answers, we would fit in here perfectly also. That's a nasty little trap there. Okay. American charges. American. They must be talking about American Airlines. This has got to be airfares. Boom holder. Maybe that's a boom on a sailing ship. This would be a mast. Yeah, the boom is kind of like the crossbar on the mast. Nice, okay. Since that's over with, an equivalent phrase. Now then, I think that's a good equivalent. What chests and waves may do. Is this gonna be heave? Oh my God, that's very evocative. Saxophone playing Muppet. Is that Ernie? Does he play the saxophone? Interesting. He's not in Dr. Teeth's band, is he? I don't think so. Maybe he does play the saxophone, though. From birth. From birth. It's not natal, is it? Is that the right part of speech? Geological span. Yeah, that could be an era. Course goal. Your goal on a golf course would be par. So, Nike competitor. That is a via. So this should be real. Obsolescent film format. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, well, let's throw this L in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Thursday puzzle in 30 minutes. 
So it looks like we're having split pea soup for dinner today. Yeah, all of our theme answers have been split at the peas, literally. I think the most impressive part about this theme is that all of our split answers still leave us with sensible crossword fill. We have whip, pets, reap, pair, powers up, ply, Philip, pines, flip, and pant. Yeah, that's pretty cool that all of these phrases can be split at the P and they still leave two intelligible words or phrases. That is indeed pretty cool. As for the rest of the fill, there was some good trickiness to be found. I think my favorite clue of the puzzle was Chihuahua for one. That is a great misdirection. I think most people's minds would immediately go to Chihuahua the dog, not the Mexican state. And I also liked this wordplay too. Animal Crossing for much? Even though I like mule as an answer better because in the case of a mule, you're crossing two species together. But still, this is a great clue. All right, well, it's time for me to split, but I hope you enjoyed solving that Thursday puzzle with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the themeless Friday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>